Hello there. I'm going to show you today how to use Jitsi. Jitsi is a free and open source software to make audio and video calls and conferences from computer to computer and from computer to landline telephones. So I'm going to show you here how to install it, how to configure it and how to use it. So first thing you'll have to do is to open a browser and point to jitsi.org website so it's j i t s i dot org on the main page of jitsi.org you will see the download button so just click on download and you'll be taken to this page where you can download the installer for windows the installer for mac or the packages for several Linux distributions. So if you're on Ubuntu for example, you click on Ubuntu packages and you can choose Jitsi latest AMD 64 for 64 bit systems or this other file here if you have a 32 bit system. You can also notice here at the bottom of this page that you have another version of Jitsi that is available. This is the one Point one version nightly builds I am going to use the nightly builds because we're expecting a new version of Jitsi 2.0 to come out that should look a lot like the 1.1 version that is now available so I'm going to use this this uh, other version by the time you watch this video maybe Jitsi 2.0 is out and you will have an interface that is rather similar than this one I'm going to use. So I'm going to use the Jitsi that I have installed and you can see that the first time that you open the program you'll, you'll be greeted with a window where you can enter your username and password of several accounts so if you have an account here you can just enter and log in with this account if you're not registered you have here links to register to these uh, services I'm not going to enter any account here I'm actually going to cancel this so when you're in the on the Jitsi main window you're going to look for the menu file add new account depending on the operating system that you use the menu the menus here might be slightly different but you'll find it with without any problem uh, on this new window you have a drop down and I'm going to choose XMPP if you have already an account XMPP Jabber you can enter it here username and password if you don't just click on create a new account so you choose a username you enter a password and the account will be created instantly I already have an account so I'm going to ent the, enter the account here now I click on add and my new account is now activated you can see here that there is a green circle meaning that I am online now that I have an account I am connected I'm going to chat with a friend so I'm going to add a new contact so here menu file add contact might be slightly different depending on your operating system select account is in the case you have several accounts you can choose the the different accounts here I just have the Jabber one so I'm going to leave that ID or number is the address of the friend you want to talk to so here I'm going to put the address of someone that I know so I'm going to enter it here display name I'm going to call this friend for the demonstration I'm actually sending here a request to myself so on another computer here I'm going to 
authorize this request and you can see that now the uh, it was the the request was accepted so i click on ok and i have now my friend that is also online that is here on my contact list very well now to call this contact i click on it and i can see those several icons here at the bottom they're very intuitive so you can send a message here so this is text messages i have already done some testing here in this window uh, you can call audio call so click here and you see that the call will be completed you can call it with video directly so starting the video right away here it is you can share the desktop and if this person is not part of your contact list you can add this person to your contact list so that's it for the part of computer to computer chat audio and video calls and conference this was very easy very straightforward now we're going to see how to use Jitsi to call landline telephones to do this you will have to subscribe to an offer that can connect SIP to landline or mobile telephones the service is provided by companies that you can find online you can just type on a search engine SIP landline calls offer whatever you can find these offers I I don't want to promote any company here I just think it would be incomplete if I didn't mention a couple of companies that provide this service if you are on on the main article at idyllix.net you will find in the article links to some of these companies but uh, in the demonstration here I'm going to use diamond card diamond card is known in the free and open source software community for using and also for donating to free and open source software projects so I'm going to configure this account so again add new account this time I'm going to choose SIP and I'm going to enter here my ID and password so this ID and password will be given to you by the service that you choose alright so I have connected now Jitsi to my personal account to connect SIP to to a landline telephone so now to call a landline telephone you just have to enter here at the top the country code and the telephone number I'm going to enter here any number just to show you how it works but I'm not actually going to call anyone as soon as you put a number here at the top you have these two buttons add contact or call contact I'm going to click on call contact and now I have two accounts in my Jitsi software the one to call landline telephones and the jabber computer to computer calls so here you have to select the appropriate account to call landline telephones that is the main trick of Jitsi as compared to other mainstream software to to do the same thing VOIP is that on Jitsi you can configure to have several accounts so you will be you will you will be in a situation in which you have several accounts into one software I have seen that the difficulty that most people have with this software is this problem of having to choose the account but this is actually very straightforward if you're calling a friend that has a Jabber account you should use your Jabber account if you want to call a landline telephone or a mobile phone 
you have to use the service that provides this integration, this, uh, this uh, connection between SIP and the telephone, the normal standard telephone system. So that's it. Once you call it, the window will appear and you will be calling your friend, either from the computer using Jabber or the landline telephone using a service provided by a company that provides this service. I hope this was helpful. I hope you can now use Jitsi and enjoy your contacts with audio, video, and chat messages. If you like this tutorial, you can also subscribe to this channel, and I hope to see you very soon.